Why don't you ever do video responses to anti-SJWs, Mike? Well, all right. No one, colon. Me, colon. Let's fucking do that. Cult of Dusty. <laughs> I actually understood that. I believe that's some kind of mating call. Go on then, Dusty. Give us what you got. Fill your hands, you son of a bitch. And one thing I've noticed about these body positive feminists is that they're sort of hypocrites. Boring. What, what are you? What, what are you afraid of women or something? <laughs> yeah, neck beard, basement, small dick, insult. Fuck boy. Wow, this is easier than I thought. And I'm sorry, folks, but in my opinion, there are only two genders. Yawn. Like there's anyone alive who doesn't understand that. <laughs> Nobody cares, dude. I, I, I'm cringing. I'm bored. I'm embarrassed. And I'm all kinds of other emotional states that you need to fix by changing your behavior. Fuck, I should have <laughs> just done the whole woke hipstering thing from the start. I could crank out five videos a day if I just did this shit. So here we are on the street where these annoying Mexican street evangelists were. <laughs> yeah, what'd you do? And I guess I ran them off. Uh, good job, Dusty. Someone out there is proud of you. This is starting to look more like it. What else you got? Do you get any spicier than that? But if you're a Muslim, you are retarded. <sighs> oh, holy hell. I'm going to need three bottles of Tiger to get me through this ghost pepper file you just served up. You have oof. Dusty, oof, you just oofed me right off my chair. Let's have you then. If you're a Muslim, this is literally what you have to believe. So as to not get murdered. Give, given the penalty for apostasy is death. That, uh, that doesn't reflect well on Islam at all, but it does create a situation where it's not necessarily retarded to at least claim to believe the thing that you will survive for believing. I... If anyone's watching this from a country, if you can watch this from a country wherein you will indeed be legally murdered, or at least mob murdered and privy to a blind eye from the police for denouncing your religion, please do not simply plunge headfirst into public apostasy. Your, your internal thoughts are your own, and always will be, but your externalised communications are not. I know... Yeah, you can't help not believing, but you will most definitely have to engage with far, far more tact than Mr. Smith has the privilege to present here. You're going to have to be smart about this, but you probably already know that, because unlike Mr. Smith, you have indeed broken out of your bubble. Go ahead, Dusty. <laughs> you dangerous, flailing piece of shit. You have to believe that a man named Mohammed went up to a cave all by himself where nobody could see or verify that this actually happened. Okay, sounding a little bit like Isaac Newton so far. Nobody saw the apple but him. Nobody saw his work but him, at least in his lifetime. Am I comparing Newton with Mohammed? Yes, based on the interpretation you've given me so far, they are comparable. You're bad at this. An angel, the angel fucking Gabriel, came to him because this is how the all-powerful God communicates with people. He sends other motherfuckers to tell you shit. <laughs> Since when did rich, powerful people have like, secretaries and PAs and shit? Since when did they hide themselves away doing busy things? <laughs> Especially if anyone who gazes upon them becomes a pillar of salt. <laughs> or is that a different God? Is that... Is it, are, we, are we dealing with a god who people are allowed to see or draw or write the name of? Ass. And the angel Gabriel told Muhammad that he was to receive the most important message that anybody in the human history has ever received and that he was in charge of telling everybody that message who ever lived for the rest of fucking time. What's retarded about that? Oh, have you never taken DMT? Maybe you should. It's very humbling. But that's not even the most retarded part of the story! 
You're not going to beat them in a shouting match, dude. <laughs> like, ever. So, of course, Muhammad can't read or write. So, does the angel Gabriel and the all-powerful God just beam the information into his head? N no. The, the idea of a beam containing information <laughs> would have been alien and nonsensical to people from the 7th century. They didn't have laser discs and whatnot back then. Even books were still an emergent form of information technology. Hence, it was perfectly normal for people to be illiterate. Instead, the all-powerful God decides to send Gabriel down to recite these verses over and over and over to him until he memorizes them. Is that what people did before they had books? They just, they just memorized things. What the fuck did you think they did? And he did this repeatedly for 23 goddamn years! That's pretty fucking impressive. I mean, anyone who manages to survive for 23 years in the desert in the Dark Ages deserves some kudos, let alone someone who successfully maintains a career as a translator for the same amount of time. What do you think, Muslim? So what? That sounds so cool, bro! Just listening to that makes me want to follow it yet again! That's such an awesome story, bro! Yeah! Well, <laughs> Islam has effeminate soy boys as <laughs> well! Next thing you'll be telling me, they have social justice warriors as well! <laughs> They're not like us at all! But, uh, yeah, you, you don't seem to, to have changed his mind. At all. You, you, you haven't made a dent in it. All you've given him is an angry face to smile at. That usually means you've fucked up your cause. Have another go. Just believing in shit because you want to believe in it is not cool. It's the fucking opposite of cool. <laughs> it is cool. If it's your definition of cool. Is, <laughs> is that really what you're arbitrating, Dusty? What is and isn't cool? Is, are you sure you're hitting the right vector there? I don't know what either of you mean by cool, or what you think is cool, but in a popular sense, the word cool refers to the thing you are losing right now. If you're a Muslim, that's literally what you have to fucking believe! And if you do, you're fucking retarded! This is how people get it in their heads see that Muslims are peaceful and atheists are not because of fuck ups like this. The world is actually boring as it is, so why can't we believe in something like that? That's freaking awesome. Boring, eh? Remind us, Dusty, why it is you don't like anti SJW content anymore. Why did you end up denouncing and disavowing all that shit? Was it because the problem simply fixed itself? Did it get overshadowed by something else? Was it worth more of your time to talk about Christians and their thought crimes? Or did you just get bored? <coughs> you clearly understand my position perfectly. <laughs> and you clearly understand his. You believe what's convenient for you to believe. You believe what's functional for you to believe. And you believe what's profitable for you to believe. You pick a side and you stick with it. And if it's ultimately self-serving, then it's not necessarily irrational. You understand his position perfectly because it's the same position as yours. You just don't accept it because his team is not the same as yours. Ironically, or perhaps not, he does accept yours. That's totally fine, it's cool. But there's also people out there who believe that drinking yourself to complete embarrassment is awesome and that they do it every weekend or every night to forget their woes and their problems. That's a pretty good point. We should have the liberty to do damage, or indeed to risk doing damage, to our own minds and bodies. For they are our own. As long as we don't do any substantial avoidable damage to anyone else's mind or body. That's probably the counterpoint you should be making. Which of these things is more 
dangerously contagious, alcoholism or Islam. If you go down that road, you might, if you play your cards right, get them in a corner. What are you going to do, Dusty? To forget their woes and their problems. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh my fucking god. His response is literally, yeah, what I believe is far-fetched and hard to believe, but alcoholics exist. Yes, he's making a comparison. That's how you expose a hypocrisy. He's doing it very clumsily because he's comparing his own religion with the abuse of a literal toxin. <laughs> Are you going to capitalize on this gaff of his by perhaps explaining why it is a gaff? I mean, dude, seriously. Seriously, you can't be this stupid. It's impossible. You gotta know these are bad answers. You got to. I mean, you dressed yourself, you turned your camera on, you uploaded your video on the internet. You're at least smart enough to know that that's a stupid fucking answer. Come on. Yes, I'm sure you're very pumped up right now, and good for you. But the man made a point. A, a rather sloppy point that is child's play to take apart. But you just spent 12 seconds Barfing, sickly sweet, nothing but white hot air, Dusty. You do this quite a lot. Your responses are very often entirely interchangeable because they do not address a thing, not a fraction of a fart of a thing, let alone any facts. And the world is a totality of facts, not things. Here you go again. That is such a fucking stupid response. How could you have thought making this video was a good idea if you didn't have anything better than that to say? I mean, I just eviscerated your religion. You're talking to yourself now, Dusty. I pulled its guts out and I showed it to you. Literally and ironically, you're talking at yourself. Don't you have some kind of real intellectual defense at all? You're very bad at this. Did you see just there the way I explained how? But that's a stupid fucking answer. Come on. Look, I insult people too. I berate people as and when they get things wrong. But you need to make at least some effort to actually elaborate your workings as to why you think they're wrong before you start insulting them. They can't read your minds, Dusty. They don't understand why you've decided to start insulting them. Because you haven't told them. So all they see is a man responding to an argument with a series of insults. You are, you are fucking retarded, Dusty. Don't get me wrong, I'm very glad I don't share any teams with you. But still, for your own safety, you might want to cool it down and take it step by step. Okay? Like I said, you can't beat these people in a shouting match. It escalates very quickly and you will not appreciate where it goes. Do you catch my drift? Atheists don't believe in God, so why are they going back into religion and trying to study so much about it and learn so much about it if they don't like religion? Why go back to it? I don't understand. Oh, well, it's because it's interesting. Even TV shows and comic books are interesting. The mythologies that forged entire civilizations are nothing short of fascinating. You don't have to be a Hindu to find the Bhagavad Gita interesting. You don't even have to be an atheist to find atheism interesting. I mean, you, I mean, you're interested enough to be listening and responding to an atheist right now. So there you go. The answer was under your nose all along, sir. There you go, Dusty. That's how you respond to a point with another point. Now you have a try. Let me explain to you exactly how stupid that question is. It's exactly as if you asked the doctor, If you hate cancer so much, why do you study it so hard? The answer is obvious. It's harmful and should be destroyed, and the more we know about it, the easier it is to destroy. By Jove, he's got it! <laughs> there you go, sir. He does indeed have a point this time. Dusty would like very much to destroy your religion. Duh! I, I must say, his, uh, his opinion that Islam is somewhat retarded is one I do share to some extent. But I do not share his solution to retards.
A little bit hard line for me, but that's the point of this video. I'm addressing <laughs> anti-SJWs that I just can't get behind. <laughs> Unless it's for butt sex. Carry on, Dusty. This is just stupid. I'm actually disappointed as fuck. This is the best Muslims have? <laughs> I know, right? It's, it's like they don't understand the simple truth that you want to destroy them. <laughs> it seems Muslims are not inherently ideologically violent enough to understand just how flagrantly genocidal you are, Dusty. This absolutely warrants another 12 straight seconds of vacuous playground taunting. This is who those motherfuckers bring to challenge me? Oh hell no, where is the real competition? This is just sad. Could I perhaps hear some kind of amen? Well here's the very obvious problem with saying DUDE! Is that who I think it is? Pedophilia used to be okay in the olden days. I have taken the liberty of blurring it out myself in post. I... I cannot afford the consequences of showing that image on my channel, or indeed my country. I, I can't even afford to condemn pedophilia, because I'm alt-right if I do, <laughs> pedo defender if I do not. I don't... No, how the hell you've managed to get away with for so long? I'm gonna think, oh wait, yes I do. It's because you're, you're an anti-anti-SJW now. You're not just better, you're better than everyone. You're one of those directionless, treacherous mercenaries who want nothing more than to be on the winning team in every fight. And you think you can defect into the intersectional camp, crawl up to the censorious authorities with your dick tucked up into your ass, and beg them for forgiveness. But bad news, Dusty. They're never gonna take you back. <laughs> you left shit like this all over the internet. Do you think they're going to spare you? Do you think you'll be the one person in the world who they will treat like a human being? Do you think you're the one white Western man who is not one wrong move away from complete destruction and unpersoning? Good fucking luck, dude. Honestly. Someone out there loves you. If, and only if, you believe in God. I hope that works out for you. I actually love it, because you're actually digging the hole deeper and deeper for yourself. The only way this could get any worse is if you found some kind of bullshit reason to call me a racist. See you later, Dusty. Or maybe sooner. Yeah, hell is nice this time of year. It's only a short train from upside down land. Think about it. Perhaps we will pass each other on the platform on the way to wherever we're destined for the eternal. Our separate glances will meet and it will mean nothing. Keep your chin up. Because someone somewhere is going to punch the shit out of you. Goodbye and fuck. The very smallest hole you can fuck. Please.